Hi everyone. So this is going to be my what I got my kids for Christmas video. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but at the very least, I was determined to get I think the only video that I've consistently made over every year that I've been on YouTube this year. <laughs> the what I got my kids for Christmas one. So if I'm out of breath, I am about 37 weeks pregnant right now. So that's why I've also had a bit of a cold for like ever. Um, and it's late. I'm tired. And I look to the side. It's because my, I'm watching my daughter, um, my one, like my almost one and a half year old daughter on the baby monitor because she's like going through sleep regression right now and she just doesn't want me to make the video. I don't know. <laughs> so let's see. I want to do this one take, but let's see how clean cut I can do it. So let's get going. So I have two kids right now one on the way. Um, my stepdaughter Lydia who is seven she'll be eight in February and um, my daughter Yvette whose first Christmas was last year um, she is now almost a year and a half. She'll be a year and a half officially in January like early January January 6th so like she's basically a year and a half. So I think I'm going to start with Yvette's presents first. Um, some of these aren't quite in like order. Like some, whatever I can fit in the stocking is going to go in the stocking and whatever I can fit in the stocking is just going to get wrapped up or put in a bag or whatever. So I'll start with um, the baby though she's not really a baby anymore. Um, so basic super exciting thing, socks. Uh, these are gonna be, I think, a little bit too big for her, but she's like, some socks are like too big for her and then some are like way too small. So I'd rather, I saw these at Burlington, so I grabbed these. These are 2T to 4T. Um, so whenever she can fit into these, she has them. So, um, when I bought them, I didn't realize how big they looked. Um, there's that. She is obsessed with dogs. So I found this recently at Walmart. And kind of like their seasonal section for like what is it like the Christmas stocking stuffers and all the other little tidbits. So they had several different dogs and I chose this like little Yorkie one. It's so really cute with the little um little bow and uh I guess this was like about three bucks. That's what it's saying on the tag. I am debating on saving this for her like big sister gift when she visits the baby in the hospital. So this might actually be safe for that, but I had originally got it because I thought it would look cute poking at her stocking and she loves dogs. <coughs> me. Like she loves that new Blue's Clues show. I mean, the remake, but. Uh, da, 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 da. No particular work. I'm just gonna go for it. Water Wow. I work as a behavior therapist. So I've had a ton of these in the past. She's never used them though. She loves the color. Just another way to color and not have a mess. <laughs> she likes kind of playing with water too. So basically if you've never had these, you fill it with water and the kids can just paint on it and then it dries up and you can like reuse it. So you can use it like for travel or whatever. Um, she's gonna like it, I just know it. Both girls got slippers. Um, I Evie has slippers that she likes and conveniently it's actually like right here. So she loves these slippers. She picked them out in the store months ago. These are size 5. Um, I think pretty soon she's going to be size 6. So I debated on like do I get just like the same ones in the next size up or these are the ones that she kind of wanted at the same time. So she picked out those ones and so we went with these ones, the little cookie monster ones. There were some unicorn ones that were really cute but I know she's going to like this better. Um, she doesn't like really like watch it on TV but she just likes certain moments of like the characters. So this is about like 6 bucks. Um, so size six, Sesame Street slippers, super cute. She's gonna like those. She's super into shoes for some reason. Um, a potato head. Can't go wrong with potato head. Um, I use these a lot with work too. So it's good with teaching kids like body parts. She was, she like knows most of her body parts already. Um, but the only pain is that these arms are so much harder to get in like than the ones that I had as a kid, the 90s version of the Miss Potato Head, so hopefully she won't get too frustrated, but 
I think she's gonna like this because I think she's gonna like pointing out the notes and all that and I think that'll be fun. Let's see, let's see. Oh, this will go in her stocking bows. She actually, I think, picked these on the store um, and obviously forgot about them and I'm just gonna, I found them again and so we're just gonna throw them in her stocking because she doesn't know about it. Uh, she's super into <laughs> she's super into random things so she's into like cups she's into like like adult or like big kid cups I couldn't find like a mini tumbler but I wanted to add that to her gift uh, she's into shoes <laughs> like all sorts of shoes so that's why we got the slippers and she's into like hairbrushes so she has like a hairbrush but it's like more of like a babyish hairbrush so she definitely says she has like hair <laughs> she needed like a hairbrush and I wanted to buy one for my hospital bag and I already gave Lydia my wet brush for my delivery bag because she lost her brush at that time so this came in a two-pack like a big wet brush and a little one so I was like perfect I'll just use the little one for Yvette put on her stocking she'll be super happy with that she can use it on her dolls or use it on herself whatever <clears throat> And the same idea. I think this is gonna go in the stocking, obviously. She likes bracelets. <laughs> Somehow she's like kind of like super into really girly things. It just so happened to, to happen. I mean, she has cars and other things to play with, but she just gravitates towards like girly kind of things like pretty shoes and bracelets and jewelry and stuff like that. Uh, these, I think this was from the dollar store. Though I know like Walmart sells them with the party section, so. Uh, they came in different shapes, like, I think it was like hearts, flower kind of shape, and, um, just regular bracelets. So we got the regular bracelet one. She's gonna love that. <coughs> me. And this I was gonna try to fit in her stocking, but it seems kind of heavy. Um, or maybe I'll put some in and then, like, save some for, like, I don't know, Easter or just, like, the holiday or just, like, have it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but they're, like party size um play-doh we've used play-doh a few times she's pretty good with it but then there's same thing with coloring there's always like a point then like she tries to like bring it to her mouth so it's something you have to watch for but I like how they're little so if they like dry out like when color dries out it's not a big deal and if she happens to put her mouth we can just check <laughs> so uh it's just like a different like a like little rainbow she like that and that's good to go. This is one of the first things I got her. I just thought it was so cute. They have a bunch of these at Walmart. Um, little people, like, with a vehicle. So this one is, like, a pizza delivery guy. That was super... Oh, you can see. On this side, it has a little logo. Oh, he's got a little pizza car. And he comes with, like, I think a pizza in the back. <laughs> that he's delivering. I don't know if you can see that. The little white thing. And I'm assuming he comes out. And, yeah, it looks like he can stick another little person in here to drive. And it's just like a little car and the door opens and uh on one side and she has like a lot of princesses that are little people so she could probably put them in there too she just like wanted to use as a car um but i thought that was super cute so grab that i think that was like four or five bucks at walmart each girl got a movie i think this is gonna go in the stocking trolls she hasn't seen trolls yet um Lydia loved Trolls when Trolls came out. I think it's a cute movie, but it's not on Netflix anymore or Hulu, whichever one it was on. So, on Black Friday, this was on sale for I think two dollars. I think usually like one ninety eight or something. So, pick this up. She likes several of the songs already on it. Uh, so I'm hoping that she'll like the movie. I think it's cute. So, not that. <clears throat> she loves books. <laughs> Both girls got books, too. There's a lot of similarities in that respect. But obviously age appropriate. From the dollar store. <laughs> Abby's first book, The Shapes. Same thing, dollar store. Big Bird's first book of letters, ABC. And because she likes body parts, I got this. So I have been holding on to this one for a bit, too. Eyes, nose, fingers, and toes. Dollar store. So I think I'm just going to wrap those up as like one thing 
Originally I thought stocking, but it's gonna make the stocking that way too heavy. Um, <coughs> she loves this book, but we don't own it. We borrowed it from the library, and I have like another one from the series, but it's more like a leveled reader. Um, but she really loved this book when we borrowed it. Pop pop fish. Sometimes she asks for it. It's like we don't own it. Ooh. <laughs> It's like we don't own it, but now we do, and she'll be super happy to see it. I think she, she calls him like blub blub. Because if you ever read the book, he goes blub blub blub. So, she'll be very excited to see that. Another one of the first things I got because I do <laughs> this is like off topic, kind of. Um, with my job, I do a lot of like testing, and like one of the things it says that her age should be able to do is like stacking blocks and we have like the mega blocks I think that's what they're called like the big blocks that like interlock kind of like Legos um not Duplos but like the more rounded top and I was like we don't even have any blocks <laughs> so I can't even really test that um not like I'm trying to constantly test my children but it's just like one of those things where every kid had blocks right like so at the Target Dollar Spot they had this little wagon. I don't know how long the wagon's honestly gonna last or I'd consider using the wagon for something else but um ABC's um this was just like seven dollars which I bought this years ago from the dollar shop before like, when I only had Lydia like when I first started the job that I work at so four years ago um and I swear this was like three dollars or like five dollars at the time so they definitely increased the price on this but Oh, I think she's crying and I have to go get her. <laughs> One moment. God, I'm so out of breath. I think it's just a false alarm. So let's keep rolling. <laughs> um, I'll show that later. Oh, sorry, my phone I'm recording on kind of like froze. Uh, on the note of like mess recoloring, which is like that greatest invention. Uh, <laughs> color wonder mystery coloring this is I think we went on there um Thursday so like not black Friday do you want to call it black Thursday Thanksgiving day night whatever to Walmart to get a couple of the big the biggest items that the girls have but I also saw this this is like 10 bucks I think comes in a case could contain all of these little markers and the paper like the stickers she bought stickers now um, I know it can get pricey to use like the special paper, but you know, it says it's over 50 sheets, so it buys me some time. And then she can get more for like Easter and her birthday and all that. So I think it's worth it. <laughs> so, um, just to save the carpet and the walls, which luckily, knock on wood, she has not tried to draw on. Um, <clears throat> so it was 10 bucks at the time. I have no idea how much it is now or if you can even get it outside of like Black Friday, but Color Wonder. Awesome. She loves baby dolls. <laughs> so, she has several baby dolls. One like from Lydia. One's like one of those Manhattan toy ones, soft, super cute. And then like standard like classic baby doll. She's got a couple of those. I thought this was really cute because she knows how to sign milk and juice. I don't think she's going to know how to use the diapers, but she knows what diapers are, obviously. She wears them. But they're the disappearing ones. I think it's going to, like, blow her freaking mind. <laughs> like, I think she's going to just, like, love that. She loves to even use her own cup just to, like, feed her babies or her stuffed animals and go... <laughs> she makes the sound of them, like, sucking the drink down. So, I think she's going to love that. Um, I think this is, like, six bucks kind of overpriced. I used to be able to find this at the dollar store. Um, I mean, I didn't have to have a juice one, but it's like, for the price. <laughs> Better come with more than one. <clears throat> Alright. The bigger gifts. <laughs> this too. One I'm like debating on like, I didn't plan on getting it, but I saw it and it was a great deal. So I think I'm going to add it and then maybe it's going to be a thing like we put away for a little bit and then take it out when we're bored. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to explain the way I make excuses. So 
So Walmart has a brand called Spark. It's super affordable um, with the toys, educational toys. Uh, like they have like a Grimm's Rainbow. I think it's called a Grimm's Rainbow, but it's like a plastic one. We didn't get that though. I was tempted to get it. Um, <laughs> a lot of, um, there's a lot of like cars and other things. So she has some things from the line, some things I use for work, my work bag from the line. They apparently have a, what is this called? A train set. It's late. I'm sorry. This was only like $15. It is a 75 piece, right? Is that, am I making up things? It's 75 piece. Uh, train set. Great deal. <laughs> train sets are expensive. My brother was super into trains. Uh, we've inherited some model like Lionel trains from my grandfather. He's a big avid like actual model train <laughs> collector. And this is like a little wooden set. So I think that's really cute. I wonder if the Thomas wooden trains will fit on here. I think that'd be really cute. Um, it even has so it has like a bridge and everything and little trees and like a little tunnel and I think she's gonna really like it. I just don't know if she's quite ready for it, so I'm like debating on like getting like giving it to her. But it's probably gonna sit in the closet for like a month or so or two at least. <laughs> you know. I just I don't know, I you know, have you ever been like bored of your own kids' toys? Like bored of playing with the same toys and it's just like we need a refresher. A lot of them are like babyish toys we are gonna save for the new baby. We're gonna like take them, box them up, wait till the baby's the ba this baby is old enough and you know refresher with like some more advanced toys for my daughter. So give her the train set. I decided train set's being given. Her last gift from us and Santa. <laughs> All these are from Santa and us. Um, she loves baby dolls. As I said, loves, loves, loves baby dolls. I knew when Christmas was rolling around, this is like the idea I was going for. I was going to get her a baby doll set. Like the furniture. So originally I was going to get a pack and play. Like there was only one with a pack and play and a swing and a high chair and a, a stroller. The big thing I wanted was like a stroller and like a bed. And like a high chair kind of thing to feed the baby. But a lot of them were super expensive, didn't have great reviews, they had look like cheap plastic and like for wearing it. Then Walmart comes around with their Black Friday ad and this is the the deal they had and I don't think I could have got a better deal. This was twenty dollars and it's by it says My Sweet Love Deluxe Baby Doll Place. I think you can only get on Black Friday or, you know, Black Thursday. This is it. Oh my god! Look at the baby doll! I would I do have to say, like, the baby isn't, like, the best quality. Like, I'm just not a fan of the feet of this baby. I want to put socks on it so bad. <laughs> you can just tell, like, the molding is, like, a little overdone here. The top part of the baby's fine. Just its foot. I don't know. Something's up with, like, the lower extremities of this baby. So I think this baby's gonna get on socks. <laughs> um, Let's see, it comes with like, I don't even know, I can list how much thing. It comes with a bottle, but it's not like they're disappearing in a bottle, so I still got that other bottle. I think it comes with some diapers, it comes with like a little food tray and a bib. She tries to put her like her big bibs <laughs> on the on the baby and it doesn't work out, so I'm glad she has like a baby sized bib. The blocks for the baby, I think there's like some bath toys for the baby. Fork and spoon, because it has, okay, you can't even see, well, there's a stroller in here. Over here you see it has a tub and some <laughs> toys. There's a little toilet. Uh, <clears throat> and here you can see there's a, a booster seat. So she, she also has a booster seat so she'd be familiar even though she eats in the high chair but I think she's going to get it. There's like a bed crib thing. Uh, there you can see the stroller. There you can see the dog. <laughs> um, it doesn't shut the toilet on the... Uh, you can see some of the things in the back. Ugh, this is a toilet. Can you see? I think it's just bigger pictures. It was like feeding stuff, sleeping stuff. 
a lot of bath time stuff like the lotion and like the the toys and the bar soap and stuff like that um but i think she's gonna love pushing the baby around she likes to feed the baby uh so i think she'll have fun with the little booster seat in general she likes baths so I, she's just never reenacted that yet we eager to see if she does that the potty <laughs> she's not really familiar with the potty yet but i think one day and um the crib i think she'll get that i think she'll realize it's a bed because it's not like a crib crib <laughs> but i think she's gonna really like that it's very exciting i think she's gonna like lose it when she sees it and like realizes like everything that's in it <laughs> so she's gonna have a ton of fun with that i think it's a perfect gift to get her since I'm expecting a baby, she's gonna see me doing a lot of stuff with the baby, and <laughs> uh, like pushing the baby in the stroller, rocking the baby. Uh, she's already pretty good at like imitating all that, anyways. So that's Yvette's gifts. <laughs> I hope you suck it out <laughs> with me for that. I'm gonna quickly go over like stuff that's definitely going in their stocking. Most of this is probably Lydia because it's Sandy. But um, even might get like one or two of these things. So this is after Lydia, Kit Kat, candy cane kind of thing. I always got like Hershey Kiss or like the Reese's candy canes as a kid or M&M's or whatever. She likes Kit Kats a lot. So I decided to go with the Kit Kat. Something different. Everyone's going to have a chocolate Santa, right? Like that's a G on here. So chocolate Santa for each of them. I also, um make a stocking for my husband and he's kind of has a sweet tooth uh he doesn't really eat like like he like gets candy as like gifts he doesn't really like eat a lot of candy otherwise oh sorry my phone had a thing so one's probably gonna be his and the other two are the kids so like that <coughs> see for this bubble tape i mean two's gonna be little lydia the baby's obviously not have any and my husband actually likes bubble tape, so he'll probably have one of these. Look at these. And, oh, the video. Push pop. I think she had one of these, like, last year. I swear we have, like, an ornament. Kind of like this, so. I think it comes with an ornament and, like, a push pop. She's, what kid doesn't like a push pop? Lydia, and then for the kids and husband to share, we see streets. So there's that. Those are definitely going to go in the stocking and i'm gonna have to charge my phone real quick uh it's dying and then i will show you what i got lydia so brb
Uh, let's see what next, what next. Um, she circled this in one of the magazines. Poopsie Unicorn Crush Makes Sparkle Slime. This is what she wanted. <laughs> From what I understand, it's like, this is the case. There's some sort of slime in it. What's this crushing water? There's some glitter. It makes glitter in the slime. My understanding there's some slime in here. And like a packet of glitter and then you like mush it together. That's my understanding. <laughs> I had to look it up. Um, this is what she wanted. I know some come with like toys or whatever, but like this is the one that she circled. So this is what we got. Hoping it fits in the stocking. We'll see. There's that. This I got for the stocking, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't think it's going to fit in the stocking. And I, we were in the store one day. She saw it and wanted it. She's been super into bracelets. Um, kind of like blind baggy kind of bracelets too. Um, so I was like, you know what? She actually probably will like use this thing. But at the time I told her, like, you need to ask Santa for it. Because it's Santa, like, <laughs> I'm sure there's other parents out there, like, once it's like September-ish, September, October, definitely November, like, you want something, you're asking Santa. <laughs> or you're, ask you're getting it for Christmas, you're not just getting it now. It's one of these twisty pets. Uh, <laughs> whatever that means. It looks like you just make uh, bracelets out of their bodies. And this one happened to have lip gloss in its torso. <laughs> so... I think this is the one that she had wanted at the time. I thought the one she wanted was a cat, but I'm looking on the back here, it was like, there's no cats, so I don't remember which one she like was looking at in the store. It might have been this unicorn. I don't know. <laughs> but um, that's the one she had. So I guess I'm not to wrap this because I don't think it's going to fit in the stocking. I think it's too wide and I don't want to take it out of the packaging and yeah. <laughs> so twisty pet, whatever you are. Uh, found this at, what is it called? Family Dollar. I, like, never been to Family Dollar. I was passing by one on my way home after a meeting. Decided to go in and, I mean, the place looked like a bomb went off on it. I'm sure there's plenty of very nice Family Dollars. This one was very hectic. Um, but they did have, like, a cute little section of, like, toys and, <clears throat> I think this was $5.00 little diary kit so this there was an emoji one and then there's this unicorn kind of heart it kind of looks like a heart right like with the mane and the tail it comes with like a pen and a bookmark some stickers some gems stickery pages that would be a good thing to get her um some practice with writing so yeah and then of course i i remember having this as a kid like you have like the lock on the diary, you know. Uh, I don't, you know, for your privacy, you're very private as a kid, you know. So, diary, I believe five bucks. I think that's what it was. Speaking of childhood, uh, I got this as I was going by the house. I think this was also like ten dollars, so kind of overpriced for what it was, but um, I guess it's enough to design ten keychains. I know, like. I probably just spend the money on just buying a bucket of pony beads and the fat, like, what is it? Like the clips, the key rings, and the wax cord and all <laughs> to make this and then just look on YouTube, like how to do them. But this would be fun. I think she'll have fun when she likes penguins and she likes, what's this called? A <laughs> ladybug. It's like a popsicle, a pizza, a cat. Um, like a butterfly, like dragonfly looking thing. Um, I think she'll have fun making these. I did as a kid, like, these are like the coolest things. Like as a kid, she's like super into keychains too. She has like a gazillion on her backpack, so. I think it'll be fun for her to make. And, yeah. We got that. <laughs> also, I think most things are from Walmart. Pretty much. And as I say that... This I got from Five Below. She had some nice headphones that were only like, I think maybe max, like $15 that she got last year. We had found them at Walmart. They're Bluetooth. They light up on the sides. You, you can charge them or plug them in. And um, one of the <laughs> earpieces is like dangling now. 
because it was obviously put away improperly so uh until we can be more gentle with our headphones i got a pair from five below i think it was five dollars or like something to now like a little more than five dollars i think it was like 5.55 or like six dollars uh squishy cat headphones don't know how nice quality is i do have the receipt if we really need to return it so it feels like a, like a squishy on the side uh she likes you should like the black cat because she likes that ladybug and cat noir show so it's a cat noir <laughs> a black cat um they are what's it you have to plug them in they're not bluetooth maybe for her birthday we'll be bluetooth if we're <laughs> for a little more gentle with our headphones the other ones are dangling by a thread so there's that i got her one thing of clothes because I don't, I don't, she has so many clothes. She doesn't really need clothes. I was in Justice getting, like we pick children's names out of a hat for my dad's side of the family. So if you have like a kid, you pick like a kid's name. If you have two kids, you pick like two kids' names, uh, like out of a hat. And you get a gift or gifts <laughs> for that kid, I'm trying to stand about it. Uh, so when I was in there, I got like, my cousin, she, I end up picking my cousin. She's, she's my cousin, but she's like a child. Um, and she liked Justice, so got her like a sweater. And I saw some stuff that Lydia, I think, would really like. Lydia doesn't need any more clothes, but I end up getting them a size 8. She's currently like a size 7, so like, she might grow into it. <laughs> um, and she likes Paris a lot, so I saw this. It says, Trey Paris Chic. I think she'll like that. It actually looks kind of small, so she might be able to wear this now. I think it's supposed to be like, not quite a crop top, but like a little, <laughs> like a tight top. So we'll see how it fits. We might return it for a bigger size, depending on how it fits. Um, so there's that. A little top. Don't remember the price, but Justice is overpriced. Like, I remember they were 40% off when I got them, but... Like, dang, like, these are expensive kid clothes. And then these were actually paired, like, not a mannequin, but kind of, like, near together. And I thought, these are cute. I don't know if you can even see the pattern. They're, like, a very fine hound's tooth. I don't know. It's probably looking terrible on camera. But they're, like, those paper bag waist pants. Got these in a size 8 because they didn't have a 7. And she runs a little smaller on the bottom <laughs> than the top. So I do have the receipt. If we do have to exchange them, or maybe we'll keep them until she can grow into them. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, so she got one outfit. She has so many clothes. She doesn't need any more. She got a couple books. She's super into, like, not knock jokes and, and not quite puns, but, like, not knock jokes. I, <laughs> she tried to make up a few of her own, but she tries. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. <clears throat> So we got her actually like a joke book. This was from Amazon. It says the big book of silly jokes for kids. 800 plus jokes. Some of them are puns. Some of them are not knock jokes. Some of them just tongue twisters, riddles, some other things. I don't know. <laughs> so I think she's going to have a lot of fun with this because she loves telling jokes. I think I did too at the age. It's, it must be something about the age. So. I got these on a deal. It says it retails for like 10 bucks, but I definitely got a deal on that. I think it was like more like $6. Plus if you bought a certain number of books, like certain books, then you got like a discount too. So it was definitely discounted than that. And then this um, is a Raina Telgemeier book. <laughs> I won't say that right. It is a graphic novel called Guts. It came out in September, I believe. This it gets sold out like so easily on Amazon it's pretty cheap it's like seven dollars like a little over seven maybe close to eight it retails for 13 um basically about uh if you don't know Raina Tel Telgemeier sorry I'm totally butchering her name um she does a lot of memoirs of like her as a kid so she's done she's known for I think it's called Smile Sisters I know she's done one called like drama and ghosts those ones I don't they're not like memoirs but um just like her childhood kind of like smiles about like her getting braces and stuff like that 
this, oh, it also has the other books right here. This one's called Guts. <laughs> and it's about, uh, she's experiencing some anxiety and, um, you know, it's like school and I think Lydia could maybe relate to some of the stuff in it. She's a great storyteller. I've read Smile and Ghosts, even though I'm an adult. Uh, and I thought they were great. So I think Lydia's gonna like this. She started getting into graphic novels like um, a little bit of Sailor Moon she's read. Uh, there's like a Minecraft one that she read. And she like, reads it over and over and over again. So I think she's gonna really like this. And yeah. <laughs> so it was also like advertised at her book fair at school. So I was like, I was hoping she wouldn't like get it because <laughs> I had already like bought it for her. It's her big gift. Um, ah, sorry, I keep saying um. She circled this. I mean, she circled a lot of things. <laughs> to be fair, she wanted a switch. She wanted a laptop. She wanted a. What is it? She wanted like a like a like a phone. She wanted a like I watch. She wanted like she wanted a lot of things. And then like several like kind of like super expensive toys and then some of them I just like knew she wasn't gonna play with because she has similar things to it and she hasn't played with them in a while. <laughs> um, so these would we had asked her like it was between some other expensive gift and this gift so which would you would you rather have and she chose this one so that's what we got. So her big gift that doesn't look so big this year is it in Stax camera? She told us the color she wanted. And I was like, if you don't have this, if they don't have this color, what color do you want? So I had backups. She said she wanted the purple one. Uh, Walmart had a deal on this for fifty dollars for the bundle. The bundle includes the camera, the case for it, which I think it like it's like a little purse bag, the album, which is important. She let she can just stick the photos right in there. It comes with. 10 sheets of film, some little emojis that you can just, I guess, put some of the pictures on. That's like an, an added bonus, I guess. And I think that's, yeah, it's basically like what it comes with. I also grabbed some film. I think this is another like $15, $16. So this is another 20 sheets because it's two packs of 10. The cartridges must be 10, I'm guessing. Uh, so that's her big that she really wanted. She's been into like photos she has like a little photo album that she keeps in her room that she'll have a lot of fun with that and we want to take the kids to like the aquarium stuff like that she can take some photos there with it um so yes <laughs> that's a big gift it doesn't seem so big obviously like you compare like that's a big gift the <laughs> big baby doll set to this but this is like three times more expensive just this alone um not including the film <laughs> so uh, or maybe including the film. So that is what I got my kids, me and my husband got for our kids for Christmas this year. The baby isn't due till January. He could come earlier. I hope he said that's a possibility. I didn't get him any gifts though, because <laughs> he might, he might not come yet. <laughs> um, like as of right now, it's less than a week away. I don't know. Uh, I did get like some passy clips, <laughs> so nothing very exciting for him, uh, and some pacifiers, uh, which maybe he'll take two, maybe he won't take two, who knows. I, I did kind of want to get one of those um, contrast image tummy time things that like with a mirror, so I may like buy that, maybe I'll put it on the tree, maybe we'll just get it, and like obviously when he comes we'll actually use it. But. Not really planning on, on going all out, especially since he isn't here yet. He does have a stocking, but most likely he's coming after Christmas, so. At least I'm hoping he comes after Christmas, because I just want to get through the holiday, and then he can come anytime after that. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's a little late that I'm uploading it to give you, like, ideas of what to get, but maybe if you see this next year, this year is 2019, so maybe if you see it in 2020, I'll give you some ideas of what you get for your kids or cousins or grandkids or whoever <laughs> are in these age groups 
that you're buying for. I hope you all have an amazing Christmas holiday season, whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate. And I hope to film more videos on my return leave. Let's see if that happens. No promises. <laughs> but take care guys and bye.